So I'm back on uh, making a video of the uh, bridgehead uh, quill uh, disassembly. So I had trouble getting the uh, clutch collar off because the little BB wouldn't uh, uh, wouldn't come out of the uh, of the space. So what I wound up doing actually was just uh, I put some PB blaster in, um, but I guess any any sort of solvent would work. I uh, did that for a few days, and then I took this uh, torch, and I heated it until uh, everything was smoking, and I turned the whole head on its side, and uh, just gave it a couple of uh, judicious whacks, and the uh, BB came right out, and I was able to get the clutch collar off of the uh, uh, reverse knob. I wound up putting this back on, fooling around with it. It's all intact, but really what I'm trying to get at, the one problem with this machine is... Uh, right here. I think this is a little bit worn and it doesn't really switch uh, from forward to reverse to neutral uh, so easily. So I'm going to continue the disassembly. Once you get that off, you can then uh, take uh, this gear off. This just sits. So this comes off uh, just as such. Then, uh, proceeding, what I, uh, what I wanted to do was to uh, remove the, uh, uh, you know, the cluster gears. This has already been removed. Um, I took all the set screws out. Uh, there's uh, one set, double set screw here, one double set screw here. The bottom is, uh, actually I didn't take it all the way, I just removed it far enough that things can budge. And then there's one... Uh, more right here. Those were all removed. The I guess this uh, this worm gear cradle was sort of a problem uh, for me. And I'll tell you what I did. I tr I couldn't get for the life of me. I just kept chewing up pieces of hardwood dowel that I kept sticking here and here, and I couldn't get this uh, off no matter how I tried. Then it dawned upon me that uh, really what I could do if I removed this set screw, I could probably just take this whole group out together. So what I did, I punched out the dowel that uh, holds the knob here. But it turned out this is, uh, someone may have put something on it, uh, Loctite or something, it wouldn't come off. But if you remove these screws, these three, the whole mechanism just comes out and then this uh, entire worm gear cradle will come out. Um, and it just, everything falls through the hole. Now you've got the whole thing out. So this is all one single uh, assembly that I can, uh, I can set down. And then uh, this is one assembly with these three screws I'll have to put away. Here are some of the other uh, locking screws and one of the set screws. So now, after having removed these two set screws, this whole thing should just come out. And it just moves by hand, I guess, huh? It actually comes out pretty, pretty easily, let's see. Not having any difficulty here. Maybe a little bit. But just pushing it with my finger. And the whole point here, let's just take a screwdriver and it just pushes right out. So it's It's actually almost completely out. Anyway, so this whole thing should now come out. I may fool around with this a little bit with the camera off because the idea here is that uh, this just needs to come out enough that uh, I can then maneuver this out and then I can disassemble this and get the new uh, rod here.
That's, that should be fairly easy. All right, so I will stop. Um, one more thing to point out again, uh, after reading multiple posts online, this uh, nut is just almost impossible to get out. A lot of people have had trouble, and it, it's much easier to get the whole mechanism out like that. And if this needs to then be disassembled further, um, this could be sort of wrapped in uh, leather or towels and put in a vise, and then you can get some leverage traction, and this should be able to come off real easy. Um, I will stop it uh, right now.